Hello, and today I am back with a tutorial and a video. So um, it's going to be eyeballs. I painted them in three different shades and they all start pretty much the same with a ball of white polymer clay, which I am going to pre-bake. And after baking, I start to paint the eyes. So that's pretty much it. I know it seems really simple, but I feel like um, it's much better explained if you watch the video instead of me trying to explain what I'm doing. Basically, I start with a darker color for the outer circle of the iris. Um, and I, I simply, I tend to mix colors as I go. I like to always add a little bit of ochre to the mixings because I think it looks more natural. And as you see, I'm starting with a thick um, outer line and then I, I simply add some water to fill in the middle. Usually irises are very dark on the outside and a lot more lighter on the inside. And then you have... Um, I don't know how it's called, the black hole in the middle. <laughs> the focus... Oh god, I, I need to check that. I then proceeded to do the veins all around the iris. So these eyes are going to be used in bigger sculptures, so you could use them in dolls or in any kind of um, animals or even something more surrealistic like what I'm going to do. It's really up to you and I feel like it's a good way to well to use absolutely all your skills to make something. Usually you can buy eyeballs for dolls etc but I feel like it's better to make them yourself. And also for the veins, since they are going to be very, very, very thin, you want to have a very good brush, a quality brush for, for that particular task, so you can draw very thin lines. So the brush I have is a brush intended for miniature painting, and it's from a company named Rosemary, which are kind of found by accident, but I really like them. However, um, any good quality brush will do, so be sure to have that, otherwise it's going to be a pain. I mean, you can always try to, to paint very thinly with um, other brushes, but you really need a good quality, a uh, very good quality brush for that task. And I simply mix two shades of red to have a nice dark shade of red. The pupil! God, <laughs> it's the same word actually in the in French pupil. Um, I'm not sure it's pronounced correctly because I cannot really check that right now. But the black hole I was referring to, pupil. Um, sorry about that. Before I know it's it's as usual very scientific here, um, which in a way is fun because I'm, I'm really interested in science and I have a slight science scientific background, although it doesn't really show, I suppose. <laughs> That's fine. Um, I tend to forget the words in English sometimes. So once you have let everything dry, the paint I mean, it's time to get back to the iris. And here what I'm doing is um, to draw lines from the outside to the inside. And I simply mix random shades of colors that I feel um, work well with it. So you can use reference pictures or I would suggest to use reference pictures in any case, even if you're not going to make it exactly like the picture, simply because it helps so much to have a reference picture next to you and to be able to double check what you're doing and if it's working or not. So I feel like that's really important. I'm simply mixing colors, adding some more white, adding some, some darker shades. And these are actually going to be used in a sculpture I'm working on right now, which is surrealistic. I haven't 
uh, been very active on my YouTube on my YouTube channel lately because I've been so overhead with work with art calls and art projects and my artworks in general and since I do a lot of surrealistic and very weird work I don't really feel like um, recording everything I do and so I have completely left YouTube aside for a while I've said it before but I really would like to have one video per week so that's kind of the um, the goal I don't know if I can uh, manage next to everything else since YouTube is unfortunately not a very um, big income right now for me but then again I don't post nearly enough so <laughs> it might be a little bit better if I can manage one video per, per week Yeah, I'm making the brown iris. So basically pretty much the same than the blue but with different colors and different mixes. It is actually a very fun project and if you have the right brush it's pretty easy so it's not something that is all too complex and I feel like um, eyeballs are really useful when you are a sculptor. Um, it's something that you are going to use if you if you work in colors, if you want to make heads, human heads or any kind of heads or even not heads but you really need eyeballs. Um, it seems to be a um, very useful thing to, to master. I wouldn't say I completely master it because I haven't made many eyeballs yet but it's it's pretty easy and it's kind of fun to play with all those colors. I've been really picking an interest in painting more and more since I've been um, out branching my artwork this year. Uh, I've been doing so much more painting than before and I really like it. I feel like doing a lot more paint. Um, which is probably never going to sh be sh shown on my YouTube channel since it's very sculpture based and sculpture is really what I master the, the best or the most. But yeah, it's fun nonetheless. Apart from that, I also currently have an exhibition or I, I am in a collective exhibition in Strasbourg, which is in the east of France. And I also learned that I have won an award, but I can't really say which one because it's not public yet. So it's official, but I cannot talk about it, which in a way right now is but then again you don't know which one it is and I don't I have never mentioned it before but yeah I'm, I'm rather happy about it although now I question <laughs> the legitimacy of that award since I won <laughs> that that says a lot about me I guess but yeah And lastly, um, again, please wait for the paint to be fully dry. You are going to add the pupil, the black hole in the middle that focuses and gets bigger or smaller. This is also something you want to keep in mind if you are going to uh, add some expression to the eyes. The pupil can be very tiny or very big. It's not going to be the same expression in the end. So just be careful about that. And yeah, well, that's pretty much it. So a really fast project, a really fun one. Could also be a good thing for Halloween if you want to do something gory and creepy. And lastly, I also added some varnish. Please note that my varnish can be uh, baked. If yours cannot, then please varnish at the end. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up, maybe subscribe, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.